In this lesson, we'll discuss tools for administering Skype for Business. The administrative tools are installed by default on each Skype for Business server. Additionally, you can install the administrative tools on other computers, such as dedicated administrative consoles. Ensure that you review the infrastructure, operating system software, and administrator rights required before you install or use the Skype for Business server administrative tools. The Skype for Business administrative tools consist of the server deployment wizard, topology builder, control panel, and the centralized logging service. You can manage your deployment by primarily using topology builder and Skype for Business server control panel. Let's discuss each of these. First, the Skype for Business server deployment wizard. You must use the Skype for Business server deployment wizard included on the installation media to install all administrative tools onto a computer on which you have not already installed Skype for Business Server. During the administrative tools installation process, the Skype for Business Server deployment wizard is installed locally along with the other tools so that you can later use to install files for additional components or remove files for components that you do not want on the computer. Next, the Skype for Business Server Topology Builder is the program used to build, deploy, and manage topologies. From this tool, you have to configure all the physical and logical setting you are going to implement in your deployment. After you have configured the topology, you have to publish it to the central management store. Now let's discuss the Skype for Business Server Control Panel. You can use Skype for Business Server 2015 Control Panel to perform most of the administrative tasks required to manage and maintain Skype for Business Server. Skype for Business Server Control Panel provides you with a graphical user interface to manage the configuration of the servers running Skype for Business Server, in addition to the users, clients, and devices in your organization. Skype for Business Server Management Shell uses Skype for Business Server Control Panel as the underlying mechanism to perform Skype for Business Server configuration. Skype for Business Server Control Panel is automatically installed on every Skype for Business Server front-end server or standard edition server. In this release, you administer Edge servers remotely. You can also install, install Skype for Business Server Control Panel on another computer, such as a management console from which you want to centrally manage Skype for Business Server. Next is the Skype for Business Server Management Shell. In Skype for Business Server, the Skype for Business Server Management Shell provides a method for administration and management. Skype for Business Server Management Shell is a powerful management interface built on the Windows PowerShell command line interface that includes a comprehensive set of commandlets that are specific to Skype for Business Server. With Skype for Business Server Management Shell, you gain a rich set of configuration and automation controls. Topology Builder and Skype for Business Server Control Panel both implement subsets of these commandlets to support the management of Skype for Business Server. The management shell includes commandlets for Skype for Business Server administrative tasks, and you can use the commandlets individually to manage your deployment. Lastly, the Skype for Business Server logging tool facilitates troubleshooting by capturing logging and tracing information from the product while the product is running. You can use the tool to run debug sessions on any Skype for Business Server role. Another important administrative feature is Role-Based Access Control, or RBAC. In Skype for Business Server 2015, administrative tasks are delegated to users by using the RBAC feature. When you install Skype for Business Server, a number of RBAC roles are created for you. These roles correspond to universal security groups in Active Directory. For example, the RBAC role CS Help Desk corresponds to the CS Help Desk group found in the user's container in Active Directory. In addition, each RBAC role is associated with a set of Skype for Business Server Windows PowerShell commandlets. These commandlets represent the tasks that can be carried out by users who have been assigned the given RBAC role. For example, the CS Help Desk role has been assigned the lock CS client pin and unlock CS client pin commandlets. That means that users who have been assigned the CS help desk role can lock and unlock user pin numbers. However, the CS help desk role has not been assigned the new CS voice policy commandlet. 
That means that users who have been assigned the CS Help Desk role cannot create the new voice policies.